exciting moment in our little journey today because we're at the base of Mount Warning, an extinct volcano traditionally known as Wollumbin. Now around us is just pure jungle rainforest because this was where all of the lava of that peak would flow out and uh, you can just feel it's lush in every single way. We're not quite at the trail where we'll see huge trees and vines and it's just whew, jungle book stuff but we are looking at this beautiful sign uh, entering into the uh, World Heritage listed National Park area and um, it's uh, a climb and a half to the top. We won't be doing that today, but we will get a real sense of this centerpiece, this volcano that we're then going to circulate for the rest of the day. Just taken a tiny pause at the Mount Warning Hotel. It's one of my favorite pubs in this whole area. Unfortunately not open uh, at the moment, but it's got this fantastic uh, wooden frontage and when it's heaving, it is heaving. All the locals and everyone from this area having a, a bit of food and some music on the balcony. And as it says, Mount Warning is in the background. So the, uh, the volcano itself shadows the pub and uh, it's just lost in the middle of all this lushness. It's a great place to uh, stop for a bit of a watering hole. hidden little village in the midst of Mount Warning, its volcanic peak yonder, and then on this side basically the outer rim of the volcanic crater. So it's a little hidden meadow, beautiful, fertile, green, and also just a fantastic historic little town. Now once upon a time it was cedar wood, and there's uh, photos of uh, bullocks driving huge uh, logs of cedar out of here towards Mwilambar and then turned to dairy, a cattle industry, but it was so lush you could grow anything, so even a coffee industry. And it turned towards the arts, having this community hall built in 1908, led it on to having basically a, a centre with fantastic acoustics made out of cedar wood that uh, has had every show in the world there. And by the 1990s, a couple of uh, internationally renowned violinists decided, hey, with the acoustics of this place, we need to set up uh, a musical festival every year. And that's what they've done. So since the 1990s, every September, you have musicians from all around the world who come and play in this historic little community hall in Tyalgum amidst this wonderful setting in the greenery that no one's ever really heard of or been to, but once you have gone here, you'll be coming back. Tiniest of the little volcano villages around Mount Warning has the butcher shop right in front of us here. Now this is stepping back in time. Everything grows here, everything. This is a tiny little stall next to Buck's Farm and I can already see coffee, pawpaw, uh, mangoes, bananas, pineapples. We've got macadamias, we've got finger lime. Uh, it's literally just the soul of the earth, it's just you throw a peach seed in the ground, boom, peach orchard because of that volcano, all of that fertile soil coming off the back of the lava that once spewed down here. It's such a cute little community, everything is cedar wood, uh, weatherboard houses, uh, a little bit of rain right now and I suppose that's what it's used to as well. But Chillingham as a, a little town is probably the cutest and most quaint little village of this whole area, right next to Crystal Creek and uh, we're really at the base of Mount Warning here so you can see it's rising up onto the hills. It has its own weather system of course so um, we can't even see the peak top because it's so covered in cloud and mist. We're going to continue towards Mawillambar and uh, we've now 
completed a 360 degree circuit of the peak of Mount Warning and we've seen so many cool little spots along the way. Just when you think you couldn't ask for a better view, the sky opens up, we've got sunset looking over the whole Mount Warning area and this little spot we're at is the Tweed Regional Gallery with the Margaret Ollie uh, Art Centre. Now it's a fantastic view in itself but then you've got this whole fantastic museum with Margaret Ollie's uh, studio, a recreation of basically her studio in Paddington. So our final stop on this 360 degree tour of the Mount Warning volcano, which we have literally done, we have circuited the beast, has now come full circle and we're back uh, at another art center. The arts around this area is blooming as much as the, the fertility of the ground and the vegetation. And um, closed today, but uh, what, a, what a spot it's got. You got the Tweed River, you got the skies, you got Mount Warning, you got the clouds, you got the mist. We couldn't ask for more. We're on our way back on the Tweed Valley Way to uh, the Byron Shire, and that's a journey done. Sun.